It may not be the usual climbing terrain you're used to back in the UK, but once you hit the long climbs and the mountain ranges of mainland Europe, or even further afield, you may well be in for a shock. So follow these few simple tips and tricks to get you ahead of the game. This may be a bit late if you've already arrived in the Alps of the Pyrenees. But if you're heading out to a Grand Fondo in the coming months, focusing on lowering your power to weight ratio is a great way of conquering those long climbs. Dropping a few kilograms is the best and easiest way to improve this and can drop minutes off your climbing time over the course of a long ascent. Secondly, you've got to think about pacing. The sheer length of long climbs mean you won't be able to simply power up and over them like you would on short, steep climbs at home. Settling into a steady rhythm at the bottom of the climb is the best tactic to adopt. Even if it feels too easy at the start, it is better to hold something back for the last few kilometers rather than blow up halfway up the climb and find yourself struggling to the top. This may not always be possible, but if you know what climb you're gonna be tackling, it's a good idea to research them before you go. Finding out the length of the climb, potential changes in gradient that can really hit you psychologically, as well as just fuel stations themselves, can really help you plan your ride. And there's lots of information out there. On Strava, Google Street View, and even just climb profiles themselves can really help your pre-climb strategy. Despite scientific studies proving that it's both mechanically and aerodynamically efficient to ride seated in the saddle, it's important to ride in a way that is best for you. Obviously, if you have no preference, try and stay seated the majority of the time. But mixing it up with a few stints of standing in the pedals is a useful trick to get up the steeper sections of the climb. Make sure you don't grip the handlebars too tight either. This will only create unnecessary tension in your shoulders and also waste energy that you should be putting out through your legs. Staying fueled during long climbs is also crucial. Whether it's an energy gel, a bar, or even a banana, topping up stores little and often as you go is the best way to stick to the guidelines of 60 grams of carbohydrates per hour. Hydration is also a crucial factor and can easily be forgotten if you get into a steady rhythm up a climb. The amount you need to drink can vary from person to person, so it requires a bit of trial and error. If you are unsure, start with around 500 milliliters to one liter of liquid per hour and adjust for heat or personal preferences. Music